Hi guys, this is Sweet Pods Thrifter in my next thrifting haul. Um, there is a lot to show, so I'll start off the haul. Um, for $2 a piece, pretty much everything in this pile was $2 a piece, so I got this Coach Wallet. This new It Tags Lucky Brand Jeep shirt. True Religion jeans. Lululemon tank. This Buttons flannel. Tommy Hilfiger Thermal, Quarter Zip Tommy Hilfiger Sweater, this Fries Before Guys t-shirt, and this Polo Jeans Sweater. So let me start off the haul on this side of the table. So I think I paid either three or five dollars for this stuff here. So I got this brand new Givenchy perfume. I got these old World War II um, dog tags. Uh, I won't show the name on them or the information. These are sterling napkin rings. This one actually got bent out of shape. Um, I was figuring they could be turned into bracelets if you, I could get them into a circle shape. Otherwise, they're going to get scrapped. And I got some old coins possibly to make into a bracelet in the future. So I got those. At a, another sale, I like collecting these old vintage pins, especially when they're 10 carat or they're any kind of gold, really. Um, this one is 10 carat. It says past active 20 to 30 international. I don't know what that's for, but picked it up anyways. For $7, I got this stuff here. So I got this. Ducks Unlimited uh, dog tag, and it's sterling, uh, the pen is sterling and the chain, so for $3 I got that. This is actually a five-year employee pin from PG&E, if I can open it. Uh, and again, I picked it up because it is 10 carat. It is marked right in there on the bottom. So this is the five year pin for PG&E. And for a dollar as well, I picked this one up. So it has an extra stone in there now compared to that one. And this one is the 10 year employee gift. Also for a dollar at that sale, I got these earrings. If you see down here, it has two markings. One is 925 and the other one right upside down right there is marked 14 karat. So the post is 14 karat and the rope design on the front is 14 karat and got those for a dollar. Lastly from that sale, I got this uh, Eclesi Facets Rose Gold Watch. It has a mother of pearl face. And it has these Morganites. These big stones are Morganites. And I researched this and I think it's about 2.5 total carat weight in Morganite. Followed by, um, these are CZ surrounding it. So I picked that up. Uh, for $11, I got this stuff at an estate sale. Um, first off, I got this little gondola with a gondolier for 25 cents. He looks to be gold plated, so I might want to test that out, but it comes with a cool stand. I got this turquoise necklace with crystals and a sterling clasp. It is marked Eric Andrew. Uh, I got this Jesus sterling pendant on a sterling chain. These earrings, I got leaf earrings, are marked WM sterling. And I got a few marcasite pieces. So I got this marcasite bird with sterling. These are sterling and marcasite and pearl. And this is sterling and marcasite and CZ. And then I got a little salt sterling spoon. So all that for 11. Moving on to this sale, I got this stuff for $5 total. So I got a solid copper made by JP bracelet. This stuff I just picked up out of the jewelry box. So I got a little gold tone heart locket or locket. 
and an enamel heart locket with the enameling is coming off. And I picked up random stuff. This has no markings, so I definitely want to get it tested out. Uh, there's some opal earrings that are unmarked and a pendant that's unmarked. Got a little mother of pearl. Looks like a claw, kind of. A pendant. Here's more opals, pearls. You got these little jelly bean earrings. And I got this I didn't realize was broken when I got it. But it was just a Paris enamel bracelet. And I picked up this little, just a costume brooch. Uh, other pieces I picked up. So I picked up this knife. This is a sterling necklace, sterling pendant, and this sterling with a little crystal necklace. This I picked up at a thrift store for $13. It almost reminds me of morning jewelry. It looks, it has a vintage look to it. The clasp is vintage as well. So I picked that up. Uh, it's not gold or anything, but it's definitely a nice piece. So moving on, I picked all of this up for $3 total. So if you follow my Instagram, you'll see a, you would have seen a picture of these necklaces. They were in a jumbled mess at a garage sale. And the lady said, if you want them, if you want that whole thing, just give me a dollar. So I definitely gave her a dollar and I pulled out three 14 karat necklaces out of it. Uh, for $2, I picked up the rest of this up here. So I got some sterling bracelets, a marcasite brooch, sterling, gold over sterling necklace. I believe these are sterling, but the only marking is on the hoop right here, and this one's missing one. Uh, sterling feathers. These three, or these four earrings are all 14 karat. So I got some studs, hoops, hearts and little dangles. This one I think is 14 karat but it's missing its match. And it was missing the match for this sterling earring as well. Uh, but I did manage to find the matching earrings to one of the 14 karat necklaces. So that was a definite plus. Uh, moving on. I found this glasses. They're Yamamoto glasses for $2. And I got this Disney uh, Epcot charm bracelet, 1984. It is marked on the back. I don't know if that's a last name of someone, but it is marked Sterling on the bottom. And the bracelet is marked Sterling, but I got that for $3. At a rummage sale for $10, I picked up this uh, Longaburger basket. So I definitely got that. Um, getting back to this stuff. I paid $2 for these three utensils. They're little baby spoons. But these two right here are marked sterling on the back. One is marked uh, lunt sterling and the other one is marked treasure sterling. And I got this Alex and Ani bracelet for 50 cents. At this sale, I paid $29 total. So what I got was this, looks like a half dollar, but it's like a 3D version. So I got that, it's marked B&B &B on the backside. Nice vintage necklace. A sterling mom pendant locket with a sterling chain and this sterling necklace with a dragon these are all the costume pieces because right when I started looking at the, the, the jewelry, other people came and it was just basically a bomb rush for the jewelry. So everyone started picking up everything, which is including myself. And it ended up with a lot of this costume jewelry. So this might make it onto my Poshmark. And I found this cool bangle bracelets. They have no marking on them, so I definitely want to test them out. And these are the sterling pieces I managed to find. This one I didn't realize was missing the stone, so that was a little sad. I got these sterling earrings. You got Tiger's Eye, Jade. 
Uh, this ring is marked 14 karat. I got a sterling ring. You got sterling earrings. And those are sterling. These earrings are 14 karat with a blue stone in there. And then I also got these two at the same sale. So 10 karat gold earrings and these 14 karat earrings. So all of these were a dollar a piece. So that's why everyone was pretty much picking up everything at the same time. And this sale, I paid about $5. So I ended up with this gold over sterling necklace. Sterling uh, necklace, the pendant is not sterling. Two sterling bracelets these 10 karat earrings and a sterling necklace these two rings are sterling with cz this charm bracelet was ten dollars i believe six of the charms are marked sterling the other ones i don't know they would have to get tested but yeah i picked that up i picked up this set of cross pen and pencil for a dollar and lastly, I picked up all of this stuff in here for about $13 total. So I saw this garage sale. They had a lot of jewelry. It looked like no one picked through it yet. And I asked the lady how much was the jewelry. And she said they're pretty cheap. So just make a pile. So I made a pile with the jewelry. I saw this cool jewelry case. And I asked the lady how much. And she said she didn't know. So... I just threw out $10 and she said sure and then I got a few watches. She said she wanted a dollar a watch. So I picked up a few watches for 13 total. So here's what I got. I got some sterling necklaces on sterling chains. That's a 10 karat chain but it's broken. This one was interesting. I don't know the maker on that. It has a V and a plus sign on the back. But these Earrings are either singles or they're broken. I got a mother of pearl sterling ring. These are all the matching earrings. This is a tiger's eye. You got a lot of hoops, uh, studs. These rings I got. This one was pretty unique. It has um, sort of like Jewish writing on it. I couldn't, I don't know what the symbols mean, but it looks a, to be Jewish writing inside the band, along with 925. So definitely keeping that one. Got some other rings, an opal ring. So I got all these, another sterling necklace. This was the pretty good find. It is a sterling made in uh, Mexico, a Texco bracelet and I got these watches so three are Invicta so this one is an Invicta this one actually came with replaceable watch watch bands and I got this and then this one I don't believe it's real but it says, uh, I think it's Lucian Picard, but I don't believe this is a real watch. But I picked it up anyways. So I hope you guys liked my haul. Thanks.